welcome to the second lecture of this uh, in this last lecture i have explained about the three frequency bands that is uhf so shf and ehf so today we will see some more bands so overview of different frequency ranges and its applications okay so now one band is called as low frequency band and whose range is from 30 to 300 kilohertz remember this is not gigahertz or megahertz this is kilohertz and it is used in navigation basically navigation means generally this frequency is used in uh, for the sailors or the ships that uh, goes into the sea they use this frequency for navigation and uh, contact next is medium frequency whose range is from 300 kilohertz to 3 megahertz okay and this is used basically for marine that means uh, same ship and uh, uh, navy navy persons and aircraft navigation also so airplanes use this and am broadcast so uh, nowadays am broadcast are uh, not used but uh, am broadcast you might have uh, uh, known that uh, previously only radio was there the only mode of uh, uh, getting information or news or anything so am was there am broadcast was there and that uses this frequency after medium frequency it comes to the higher high frequency and whose range is 3 to 30 megahertz okay so 3 to 30 megahertz is the broadcasting or mobile radio so in this region broadcasting and mobile radio is used so remember this mobile radio is not same as the mobile phones that are using so basically you have seen the walkie talkie is used by the army personnel and all so that is the mobile radio okay it's not the cell phone next it comes to the very high frequency which range from 30 to 300 megahertz and it is used for fm broadcast so if you see your mobile and if you open the fm application you will see the frequency will be written there in megahertz generally it is 80 or 85 to generally it is 80 to 104 or 108 i think 108 megahertz in this region in india it is used in other countries the frequency fm broadcast is different so fm broadcast is that there you got the uh, channels right 92.7 98.3 these are the channels what is this means 92.7 megahertz is the frequency that is uses that particular channel so that's how it uses after very high frequency it comes to the ultra high frequency which is 300 megahertz to 3 gigahertz okay so 300 megahertz to 3 gigahertz so in this region cell phones mobiles ra mobile radio and wireless is used okay so this mobile radio is used in high frequency as well and the mobile radio is also in ultra high frequency but what is there the mobile phone that you are using is used uh, nowadays used in this frequency nowadays 4g and 5g has come so uh, this frequency uh, uh, use of mobile frequency has increased but previously it was within uh, this range so basically 1.9 around 1.9 gigahertz it was used for mobile communication previously before 4g and 3g came into picture then wireless means your wi-fi modems and all you use a hotspot in mobile also that uses this frequency basically wi-fi uses the 2.4 gigahertz nowadays in 5g communication 5 gigahertz frequency band is also used so previously it was 2.4 gigahertz and bluetooth also come in this range next is super high frequency which is 3 to 30 gigahertz used for radar and tv communications okay so this tv communication is not same as the dish tv so the previously the D tv antenna was there so it was using this now dish tv uses separate frequency though this frequency range come under this but this tv as written here it means the normal antenna not the dish antenna and this dish antenna we will see and uh, in which frequency it comes dish antenna means what so dish antenna basically uses satellite communication so when you will uh, learn about the satellite we will see what is the frequency range then you will come to know what is the dish antenna which frequency it is operated on okay next is just again another pictorial uh, representation how to understand the frequency and its uses so first is uh, VLF so what is VLF so this is actually in the lower frequency so in lower frequency very low frequency so na maritime navigation signals uh, you can see there is a tower and it sends signal to the ships so that is how it is used and the range uh, is like 100 kilometers the wavelength okay next it comes to the navigation aids also similar kind of thing then it comes to am maritime radio and shortwave radio radio telephony 
so this is uh, a radio is used in this frequency and the wavelength comes around 100 meters and then it goes to very high frequency that is tv fm radio all these things so it uses uh, the wavelength which is 10 meter to 1 meter and then further it decreases to 10 centimeter to 1 centimeter then it goes to 1 millimeter so radio astronomy radar and all used in this region and the satellite microwave television hap happens here where is the wavelength is 10 centimeter okay now you can see here l s c k okay so you can see here l s c x k u k k a so these are the different bands we will see that later so these are the bands in which the satellites are used or else any other devices can be used but these are the bands we will see that in detail uh, later okay so so uh, this communications and non communication i uh, will discuss in the next lecture so for this lecture that's it uh, the different frequency bands so one is your l band a one is your s band so 1 to 2 gigahertz 2 to 4 gigahertz then 4 to 8 gigahertz c band 8 to 12 gigahertz is your x band 12 to 18 gigahertz is your k a band 18 to 26 gigahertz is your k band and 26 to 40 gigahertz it is your k a band so these are the different bands and the different application used in microwave uh, uh, radiation or microwave uh, wave propagation okay so these are the some basic uh, uh, basic uh, bands used in the mobile communication so in the next video uh, we will be discussing about the uh, applications of microwave engineering and uh, regarding the bands these are some of the uh, standard bands that is used in uh, <coughs> microwave uh, in uh, communications so these are standards actually means these are fixed but internationally it is accepted also so basically these are two types of standards are used everywhere we will see what is what you do not have to remember these standards but you have to remember these standards okay so once you practice it is easy to remember <coughs> so one side says am broadcast band okay so that is 535 to 1605 kilohertz then short wave band 30 to 30 3 to 30 megahertz then frequency broadcast sorry fm broadcast band that is 88 to 108 i just told before so it is not 80 it is 88 to 108 megahertz then then it is your uh, very high frequency tv vhf tv in two categories in two frequency bands then ultra high frequency uh, tv it is also in two different bands then us cellular telephone so us cellular telephone when it came into uh, existence then they fixed that this will be the frequency used for us cellular telephones then european i uh, use this frequency okay after the india came after uh, so long it india is also in the same range okay now gps uses 1.5 uh, so this is 1575 megahertz so it is 1.5 gigahertz and 1.2 uh, gigahertz then microwave ovens that is used in the kitchen so it is 2.45 gigahertz okay then the ism bands is there dbs band is there so all these bands are mentioned here so these are some of the standardized uh, frequency band used in different countries now to avoid this confusion so a standardization have been made okay so it is standardized that it is uh, universally accepted that medium frequency means 300 kilohertz to 3 megahertz high frequency means 3 megahertz to 30 megahertz then very high frequency means 30 megahertz to 300 megahertz and ultra high frequency means 300 megahertz to 3 gigahertz so these are the internationally uh, accepted now uh, after this uh, these are the diff to one type of uh, standardization high frequency low frequency ultra high frequency and all and then they are named certain bands here depending upon the applications so l band is from 1 to 2 gigahertz s band is from 2 to 4 gigahertz c band is from 4 to 8 gigahertz basically our satellite operates in this band and in this band then x band 8 to 12 gigahertz uh, you might be going to your microwave laboratory laboratories so there is this frequency x band uh, devices are there so whatever microwave experiment you are doing with the klystron or anything so they are in the range of 8 to 12 giga gigahertz and then ku band k band k a band u band v band e band w band and your f band okay so these are the different bands used in the microwave engineering uh, for standardization and when it comes to uh, any country so it is fixed that mobile communication will happen in this k band 
or C band or A S band like this. Generally, we don't don't go over L band and A S band for mobile communication because there are uh, limitations of using high frequency also. There are limitation of using low frequency also. So it depends on the application that uh, what is the range of application, distance of application, how much power is required. So based on that, this frequency is decided, and in India, this is the frequency range in which our mobile is actually working. So this is just another uh, representation, pictorial representation of the frequencies. So I am not going to explain this, and this is a little bit of summary of what we have uh, learned so so far. So the field uh, the field of radio frequency and microwave engineering generally covers the behavior of alternating signals. With frequency range of 100 megahertz to 1000 gigahertz, or 10 to the power 9 hertz, right? So it says behavior of alternating currents. So your microwave signal is nothing but it's just a alternating current, a changing field or a changing current. But the frequency is 100 megahertz. So now if I if it is said that it's just analyzing the behavior of alternating current, why cannot it use the sim uh, simple AC circuit? So Because the AC uh, simple AC circuit cannot be used, it has to be analyzed in a uh, microwave or the electromagnetic wave uh, manner. So that's why this microwave engineering topic is dedicatedly given. Now the point is that why the AC circuit, normal AC circuit, or the small uh, frequency AC circuit can't be used here. So that is a separate part. We'll be explaining that in the separate video. Okay, now the RF frequency has very high frequency, and UHF already we have decided, I mean, uh, defined previously. And the term microwave is typically used for the frequency between three and three and three hundred gigahertz. Why? This micro means small. This micro doesn't mean ten to the power minus six or minus nine. It is micro means small. So when initially this one megahertz signal is there, and then suddenly ten to the power One gigahertz point came, or three gigahertz point came, then the frequency has reduced by a factor of ten power minus three. Sorry, the wavelength. The wavelength has reduced by a factor of ten power minus three. Now, compared to one gigahertz signal, sorry, compared to one megahertz signal, the one gigahertz signal has a very small uh, wavelength. Okay, and in that way, it got the name of micro and wave, very small wavelength. Okay, so that's how the microwave term is coming. And with corresponding to electrical length for your uh, 3 gigahertz, the electrical length is 10 centimeter, and for 300 gigahertz, obviously it is 1 mm. Now, when a device is used in 1 uh, 300 gigahertz, you see the wavelength is 1 mm. So that's why the size of the devices used there has to be reduced also. So regarding that, we will talk uh, in some other video, and in this video we will end it here, and next video we will be discussing about the applications. So thank you. Have a good day.